Hello and welcome everyone to Site247 webinar on end user monitoring. My name is Daniel. I am the technical support engineer with Site247. And today we are going to discuss about the end user monitoring and its importance. Today's agenda is going to be about the importance of end user monitoring. We are going to take a real time case study and discuss about it. We are going to discuss about the different flavors of end user experience monitoring, the synthetic, which is the active monitoring type, and the real user monitoring, the past monitoring. Under synthetic monitoring, we will discuss about the uptime, performance, and transaction monitoring. And with real user monitoring, we can check the real time experience by the user. So where the synthetic monitor runs in a controlled environment where you can define the memory RAM of the system from where the monitoring is done, the real user monitoring gets a real-time experience of an actual visitor who is accessing your website. So let me share an experience from one of our customers who gave us this case study on the importance of end-user monitoring. So a police department of a state used to collect the penalty for the tickets through their website from the defaulters. And one day, the defaulter traveled all the way from a different city to the police department to pay the penalty. And he showed his frustration that he was not able to make the payment online. Till then, the police department was unaware that, that the issue was uh, with the website where the user was not able to pay the fines. So then the problem was escalated to their IT team. And they found with their in-house monitoring, there was no issues. All their services were up and running, the networks, servers, applications. So where could be the problem? So the IT ops and the DevOps team got together with all the data from the in-house monitoring solution and found no issues within the data center. So everything was perfect. And then they did a manual test outside the data center by simulating the actual end user scenario and figured out that they had a broken link in their payment process. And that resulted in the frustration of the end user. And again, there was uh, no payment received by the police department for the fines. And that's when they realized that the end user monitoring from outside the data center is important. And now they use Site247 to get that end user experience from different geographical locations. So now let's see what were the challenges that were faced by the police department. So the downtimes may be restricted to specific geographies, so where the downtimes may differ with locations which may not be the same globally. And traditional monitoring don't work together. We have the server team, database team, network team, and they have their own monitoring solution with which we would not be able to identify the root cause of this issue. So we'd be having always the blame game where the IT team figures the server team and vice versa. And we should not let the third party content affect the performance of the application. Here, the payment gateway which affected the application of the police department. And at last, there was no visibility on how the end user experiences when they access your website. So now we have seen the challenges that were faced by the police department. So see how we can overcome it. So we are going to focus on the end user's experience. So for any cloud solution or a web application, customers are going to be from across the globe. So monitoring of such applications from inside the data center will not be identifying the problem of the experience of a global customer. So with our uh, Site 24-7's monitoring, you can be proactive. So you need not to be reactive. After an issue is being raised, you can go in to react and fix that issue. So don't be reactive, be proactive. And make sure that your customers are satisfied with the performance. And we also monitor the complete infrastructure stack, the DNS servers, ISP connectivity from the end user's perspective. And Site247 has its monitoring servers spread across the globe. We have our monitoring servers in over 50 plus cities from where we can check the availability and performance of your websites and web applications. We are also uh, 
having more servers added in the future. So currently we have over 55 locations. So now let's start with our website's availability monitoring. With the synthetic monitoring, this would be our uh, first topic. So website availability plays a significant role in the business development. When the website is not available, we are going to lose our customers and business. So with Site 24-7, you keep a track of your website's uptime. Be the first to know if there is an issue with your website, and you can fix them. Also, you can check for the responsiveness, uh, how fast your website responds for a request. So we provide a split up like the DNS time, the connection time, the front end, and the back end time, uh, which gives you insight of how your website is responsive. And apart from monitoring the website for its performance and availability, you can also check for the web page defacement, which is another key feature in having you monitor whether the correct content is delivered to the end user. Say, for example, if a um, hacker is injecting any unwanted scripts or images in your website, you can get notified instantly with Site247's website availability monitoring. So let me show you some of the reports what we provide you with um, our website monitoring. So this is the availability snapshot where we have uh, the response time graph and other things. It would be uh, more helpful if we uh, get into the product. Let me take the product. Okay. So here we have some of the reports for our uh, website availability. We have the response time graph from different geographical locations and a comparative analysis of the response time for each and every location, what is the response time. And we also provide some advanced reporting, such as the split up of the response time, which helps you identify where the delay is. So we give you the connection time, the first byte time, last byte time. So if there is a delay, you can check where is the delay. If it's a DNS time, you can check with your DNS server and fix the issue. And we also have the trend report to get you an insight of your website's performance across different time intervals. You can identify at what time the website is slow, so you can identify and fix them. And you also have the throughput graph and a comparative chart of the response time by location. So these are the reports which we offer with our website monitoring solution. And when your website is down, we send you a notification you know, stating that it's down. And we are also going to take the next step in providing you the root cause analysis where Site247 lets you know where the problem is so that you can minimize the downtime. So the root cause analysis report, which gives you a screenshot of the page taken at the moment, the trace route report, and then we also have the DNS analysis and uh, the conclusion what the problem is. The server may not be, or maybe shut down and it's not reachable. So with this information, you can Identify where the problem is and you can fix them, which will reduce the downtime. You can minimize the downtime using the Site 24-7. So now we have made sure that your website is available. Now let's check how important the website's performance is. So website performance monitoring from Site 24-7. So availability is not equal to customer happiness. So if your website is available, but if it is not responsive, the customer is going to get frustrated. So a recent study states that a one second delay in the page response can result in 7% reduction in overall conversion. So that's a huge number. So check how fast your website loads using a real browser from across the globe. So we use Firefox here to download the entire content, images, CSS, Java, HTML elements. And we get the first-hand experience. The reports we provide are based on the first-hand experience of a user. We will not cache uh, anything. Every check would be a new check as if a first-time user visiting your website. And you can identify the elements which are causing the delay, which helps you identify the need for CDNs. So we provide the waterfall chart with each and every element and its response time. So that gets you an idea of 
some elements which takes more time to load which can be optimized. And you can also track the performance of all the subdomains. Say for example, if you have uh, third party domains like uh, Google or Facebook integrated to your website and if those domains are causing a delay in your website that can be identified. Let me check with some of the reports. So here we have the waterfall chart and the content analysis of your website. So here we have uh, the performance report of your websites and here we can see the waterfall chart of each and every element. What is the size and its response time? How long it took for that particular element to download? And a screenshot of the page uh, taken at the time of check and the content split up. What are the number of images and what is the size of images in the website? And here we have the domain summary. So this is where we discussed about the Google or Facebook, any other domains that you can integrate. So you have the domains, the number of requests sent to each domain, and what is the average response time. So with all this information, you can optimize your website for better performance and enhance the end user's experience. So now we check how to have your website up and running and to give its performance to be optimum all the time. So let's check how a customer journey is going to perform. So with our web application monitoring, so you can check how your website performs, a web application, some complex applications that you use, uh, modern technologies like Ajax calls or scripts. So that can be monitored using our web application monitoring. Say, for example, if you have a shopping cart process or a login logout process, it's really important for you to monitor the flow from the beginning to the end, the end to end, -to -end user visibility. So to configure the monitor, there is no need for you to write the scripts. So you can use the easy web browser-like tool with which you can record the transaction and the recorder tool will generate the script. And you can monitor the way user interacts with the website. We capture each and every element you interact with the mouse over actions while recording. And when the monitoring is done, it is simulated in the same way. And we also have the intelligent capture functionality, which learns about the changes made to any user interactive element in the website. And the script gets automatically updated. For example, if uh, you have a sign up action and for optimizing it, you are changing the particular element ID of that sign up action. So there's no need for you to get into the uh, application, the site 24 seven and update the script. So we will automatically identify the particular change and we will try to update it by the X path or the ID or the button's name. So this is some of the advanced features of the web application real browser monitoring. So here we get uh, the response time chart we can see. So this is what I was talking about. The downtimes are always not global. So here you can see the website is down from Toronto, whereas it's available from all the locations. So you get an end user's visibility on your website's availability. So here we have uh, the response time of each and every step. And we provide you a screenshot of each and every step uh, in the transaction and its response time and also the response time from each and every location, a comparative uh, chart between each and every step. You can identify how the user experiences from navigating from one step to the other. So if there are any third party applications like when paying for a service, if it's going to take more time, if the response time is high, you can work with your banking application and check how it can be optimized. So with Site 24-7's web application monitoring, you get a complete visibility on your web transaction performance from an end user perspective. So we checked all these reports. Okay. So now we monitored um, the customer facing websites and web applications. So how about some of the other services that has an indirect impact over the websites performance. So here we have a lot of internet services monitoring with Site24-7 such as the DNS server, FTP server, mail server, the ping, the SSL certificate. This way you can check 
whether your SSL certificates are valid and you can gain your customers trust and with DNS server monitoring you can check whether your DNS servers are at optimum performance whether the name resolution is happening properly you can check for DNS poisoning or redirection issues and alerting when it comes to alerting with site 24 7 intelligent alert mechanisms alert the right person at the right time there's no need for you to depend on your email for alerting with a wide range of alert mechanisms such as the call alerts, SML alerts, Twitter alerts, Hangout you get notified of any issues uh, with your website say if you are depending on your uh, email for alerts if your mail server is down you may not get notified so with site 24 summons wide range of alert mechanism get notified from anywhere you are and when it comes to reporting site 24 7 provides you the most comprehensive reporting capabilities in-depth and exhaustive reports so you can measure your SLA you can check your service level at ease you can schedule the reports daily reports monthly reports you can integrate and share the reports you can integrate the site 24 7 reports within your uh, websites or application and you can also share the reports with your customers by hosting the page. You can create a custom domain and have the reports shared to your customers and clients. You can be more transparent with Site 24-7 monitoring. So this is about our uh, synthetic monitoring, how we check the website's availability, performance, and transaction. So now let us get into the passive monitoring, the real user monitoring from Site 24-7. So this gives you a visibility into behind the scene performance of a web application and accurate insight into the end user experience. We get the global performance visibility. So we provide data that are related with the browsers, the devices that are being used. So whatever information we are going to provide here is what the end user experiences because we provide a JavaScript which has to be injected in your website's HTML code. And whenever the user tries to access your website, data is getting captured. So the experience of an end user is what it reflects in the data we provide. So here we have the global summary with uh, the performance of your website from different countries. And then the browser related metrics, um, this is the web transaction snapshot where you get um, for each and every web transaction, what is uh, the content split up? What is the network time, document download time? So let me get into the product to discuss this. Okay. So here we have uh, the real user monitoring with the front end and the back end time of your website. What is the time taken behind the browser and in the browser? And then the browser related metrics, what is the browser being used the most and what is the response time. And then you can also get device related metrics such as what kind of device, iPad, iPod, desktop Linux or Windows. So you can check which device is being used most to access your browser. So this way you can also manage resources within your infrastructure. Say for example, if you have your developers working on IE where there is no visitors you can see we have less number of visitors using IE but whereas using a different browser or a device we have a lot of users so that way you can allocate your resources and get the maximum out of your resources as well as the performance of your website and so we have discussed about uh, how you can monitor your uh, website's performance and availability from the end user perspective as well as uh, the real user perspective with site 24-7. So these are some of uh, the snapshots that we checked with the product. So I'd like to share with you some of uh, the best practices. Um, to avoid false alert, you can set the downtime rule uh, to check from more than three locations because uh, that might be a network issue between the monitoring server and your server which may trigger an alert to you. So in order to prevent that, Site24-7 has the false alert prevention mechanism where 
Alert should be triggered only when a failure is detected from more than one or two locations. That's can configurable. So you can set the HTTPS method as get to monitor the content to check whether the right content is delivered to your customers. And you can enable the root cause analysis report, which gives you insight on where the problem is. And then you can monitor critical services with the one minute check frequency. So site 24-7 offers a one minute frequency. So you can check more often of your website's availability. And you can set thresholds. Site 24-7 offers you information on configuring thresholds at different points like the performance or the content checks and get notified to be proactive with the monitoring. And when it comes to web application monitoring, when you try to record a transaction, you can avoid unwanted mouse over actions, which will cause a delay in or the response time spike in the web application. So here, let's recap on what we have discussed as of now. So the end user experience monitoring is key in pinpointing the issues. And downtimes may differ between geographical location. As we saw, the website was available from all the location but Toronto. So we can check what the problem is. And performance of a website is as important as its availability. As I said, a one second delay in the website has a 7% reduction. And monitor every element of your web page to ensure that your customer is satisfied. Do not make your customers wait more time to have your web page rendered. So if you have any questions, uh, let me check. You can use the chat window to post your questions. So let me take a look at the questions that's come up so far. So one user has asked uh, about the number of locations we have. So currently it's uh, 55. As I said, we are also uh, having more servers added to our database. And then another user has asked that, is it possible for uh, share this presentation? We will definitely share this presentation with you at the end of the session so you can have it handy. And we have questions about our uh, SLA monitoring. Yeah, so SLA we provide uh, for availability and performance. So let me show you, get into the product and show you how it works. Yeah, so here we have the SLA. So we have it for the availability. You can define the SLA whether it's, uh, here we have a 99% and you can check whether it's achieved or not. So we can also have uh, the daily report of the SLA whether it's being maintained. And for the response time, for the performance, you can check whether uh, the SLA is being met. And you can also define business hours on when to measure or calculate the SLA. And this is about our uh, SLA monitoring. So another question is about uh, a content check, how to have it uh, configured. So in our product, so this is where you can check the downtime rule. You can set the number of locations where the website should be reported as down. And here you can check for the content modification. So this check is done by capturing the MD5 value of your website during each and every check. So we get the MD5 value and compare it with the previous check to identify if there are any changes. So even if there is a single space or a character change in your website's content, uh, the MD5 value will change, which in turn trigger an alert. So you can get notified of an alert. And with our content modification, we also send you the HTML content of what we have downloaded. So you get an insight of what content has been changed. So this is about the content match. Yeah. Okay, so there was no more uh, questions, so I think it's uh, time for us to wrap up. And I uh, really thank you for all um, joining the webinar session. I hope this was informative and 
uh, you can very well uh, contact our uh, support team, support at site247.com if you have any further queries. And we will uh, see you in our uh, upcoming webinars. So we have planned out a lot of webinars from now on. So we will uh, see you all in our future webinars. Thank you very much for joining and you all have a great day. Bye-bye.